Hello, here we go again. Um, the plan for today is very simple, really. Just finish the two enemies that I have left. Um, they are going to be very similar. Um, so this is what we have for now. Um, we wired a few things. It's looking pretty much like a game now. It's just it's missing a couple of enemies that we can see in the I'll try the screen. So we currently have Snakey, Patty, and the Time Monster. We're missing the old miner and Mr. Bones. And that's the plan for today. Um and yeah, 10 days left. Um so pretty much that's what we're going to have time to do. So the free enemy is going to be here, the old miner, and Mr. Bones will be the tracker. And that's going to be all, I think. No more enemies. So hopefully if I can finish those two enemies today, that would be awesome. Otherwise, uh, we will leave whatever is left for the next day. And it's just doing the keys and the doors. Um, there are more things that we need to do here. We need to... Um, in the map, we need to... Uh, we need to support multiple maps and we need to link them. So at the moment, when we finish the stage, um, that is the stage complete and it's working fine, but it just loads the same, the same map. Um, so again, it's not the best destiny screen, really, but but it's fine. I mean, it has its purpose uh, for testing the engine a little bit by just playing so stage clear works and you get your points but then it it goes back to the same screen um so we need to support multiple maps definitely um let's put this down here uh yeah i look at this uh i wrote this like Use those emu instead of those box. I was looking at that, but those emu is kind of all at the moment, or, or yeah, it's not even using SDL2, so I think I'm going to pass for now. Um, I, had a, I have a testing laptop, but it doesn't have some blaster, so I can test everything but the sound. I have plenty of uh, volunteers or master to test it anyway. It's open source, you know, you could be combining this now and playing already, but there you go. I will do some testing uh, before the release or submit into the jam. I still don't know what is going to happen. It's only 10 days. There's still plenty of stuff to do. Uh, during the weekend, I might give it a go to the music, maybe, if I'm very inspired. There's not many tunes, really. I think I can get away with three songs and it's not going to be too difficult, so potentially. Now the, the Interskin on New Game, um, I would like to do that, I'm not sure, and, and the same for the UST. So it seems okay. But that is finishing the engine, but it's not making the game. To make the game, I would have to design the screens. And I'm still not super happy with just one tiny tile set. So I may draw some quick tiles and have maybe like more gray ice kind of theme, maybe. Uh, I guess if I can get three tile sets, 
that would be great because I can make 30 screens and that would look like enough for this. Anyway, let's get started um, and do these two enemies. Um, so, because we, you know, I'm working in protector mode, um, I'm not going to have restrictions on memory, I think. No, definitely not. I mean, the binary with all embedded already is like 635,000k, so a bit less over a half a meg. Um, I don't know if it's the binary street or not, but it includes everything. The sound samples, the graphics and everything. So I think we're going to be all right with that. Um, I can make it smaller because there is going to be space that is not going to be using here. But yeah, I will have to change code and stuff. So it's okay. Anyway, so I'm saying um, because We call it old, maybe. Because we are have have plenty. I'm not going to make things more complicated than that they should. I... For example, um... I'm thinking. Like, yeah, because you're going to see the, for the gravity, um, it's going to be the same, pretty much that's the same thing we do with the player. Uh, but I, I don't think it's worth extracting that. I'm not sure. I might change my mind in a bit, but I thought probably make it simple. I would say. I'm going to put the enemies first. Although it doesn't matter too much, but... Okay, uh, what else do I need to add? Nothing else, because... We manage this with the table, right? Okay, so let's change the sprites and set the animation. And then, because this base is going to be the same, and it will be only just plugging the gravity as the player. And then, Add the logic for the jumps because I want this. Uh, this enemy will move freely uh, around the screen, uh, so I'm going to go that behavior. And what we're going to do is that Mr. Bones is going to build on top of this one, and that's it. Keep it simple. I mean, I could start the gravity again, but. Yeah, probably not. I don't think it's worth it for something so that is small. So let's get the spice of this guy because it's going to be 0, 080. Uh, and so it's going to be 1680. And we're going to use all four frames, right? Is that true? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's it's four frames. Yes, yes. Uh, it's four frames. Yes, it's four frames. The animation has four frames. That's why we decided to do it like this, right? Okay, so it's going to be 70, no, 80, 
96 100 and 12 isn't it cool and uh, and now frames so it's going to be what we did in the player right so the player we did something like yeah let's use that it's going to be four frames and and it's going to be different because when we jump in, we jump in, we're not going to move, so we're not going to change the frame. So it's going to be easier, it's going to be simpler than this one. So we just need to increment the frame. If you call us that, we go back. And, and in this case, we, we can do the same speed as the um, sorry what is this on the map oh what did I do oh don't tell me that I make a mistake with that no this is all did I change something? Did I something with the, with the snake? I probably did. Yeah, I just renamed that one. Okay. Um, it's okay. to see anything because we didn't add the enemy oh yes uh, no we didn't add the enemy but it's taking the pickaxe no it's taking the time um, anyway so let's change this to be the old guy Okay, so that's not quite right. And then, so frames. Right? Oh no, because this is absolutely wrong. Because we need to do the... So it's going to be... Oh, zero, one... Zero two, and then left is going to be right. Yeah. Okay. So that's the guy walking. So it's currently the same logic as the snake, it's just that it has a different animation. Uh, it has a different world cycle than the snake. The snake has two frames. And this guy has three, well, it's in reality four with three sprites. And we can touch it and it should kill us just the same. Okay, cool. So that is done. Uh, now, let's do the, let's do the gravity. Um, now, for the gravity, we need to do some stuff here because... Okay, so that's, this is a question, really.
we can extract this. But because I decided to for the player to not be an entity, it's going to be a mess. So I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth doing that. Um, I don't think it's worth doing that. Instead, I think I'm going to strike this. But there is still some stuff that is common, like the... This gravity. So... I mean, it's not super clean to do it like this, but... It's actually not static. So I guess... We can just put it here. And something like that and get done with it she's she's not brilliant to be honest it's not brilliant but and see the frame jumping Is going to be different so yeah okay cool um so if i didn't make a mistake it shouldn't make any difference it does have a difference uh, oh Because it has to be const, right? Uh, okay, fine. Um, let's get all in here, and the player in here. So. It's basically the same. Like so let's enable the gravity. Let's make the guy fall. Just going to be this simple as that. And um so this is what is going to manage the gravity. So frame jumping, we have we're going to have a local regression here. Because it's going to be zero uh which one? Not you, zero one. So entity gravity is gravity off. We do the same here. Yes, because it's going to be the same. I mean, it's not going to be exactly the same. Uh, because... Okay, it's not going to be the same. So... Okay, so we only do when... Okay, I guess... We can risk it and do... An LC here. So the gravity is off and we fall. Then gravity down and we fall. That's it. So this is starting the gravity down. And then the other bit we need to do 
is applied gravity, which is this block here. Because we are not going to be moving uh, horizontally. Uh, no, not here. Here. And in reality, this code need to be here. Can be here. And if the gravity is off, we do the same. I cannot recall a bug in with one of these if else in in a previous project. By making a mistake, see the mistake like that. Because we don't need to check the mode. Uh, because that's to select the first, you know, to see we need to move the frame animation, the delay the frame animation of the player to be standing. So okay. Um alright. So, well, this is the same. We're going to make it slightly different because at the moment what I'm doing is just the same behavior as the player. Uh, but we count... It's going to be zero. I'm going to need to find that. Okay, let's do it because it's easier to read just in case someone is looking at this at some point. Congrats, Nick. Oh, I had that in the in the buffer. <laughs> you don't know Nick, but it was it was fair to congratulate him. Cool. So yeah, there is a zero somewhere here that is going to be standing. Right, okay, let's continue with this. Um, okay, so I was saying, um, so we don't care about this. See, that's one of the benefits of this. Now, the only difference is that the player can choose to jump into the daily blocks and, and lose a life. You can choose to do that, right? Because you try to jump and you jump short, whatever the enemies are not going to fall in the blocks so they will make that that decision um, and we need to implement that uh, but for now we, I just wanted to so I just wanted to I wanted to fall and and implement gravity including jumping although we're not going to jump for now. Okay, so there is still some stuff missing here. I am missing anything else. Oh yeah, that gravity here as well. And then I'm going to just wrap it in. Curly races and ensure that uh, it because I don't know that was what I'm doing here. Sorry, why did it did I do if else? Why? It's here. I don't know. Do I wrap it? Do I don't? I mean, it should be okay. I don't think the the compiler should get confused, right? So, if gravity is off, otherwise we check this. If gravity is not off, It's not looking good. It's not correct. 
Okay. So e gravity. So this enables gravity, but we want to apply gravity in the same frame. So that's why I'm checking it there. All right. So if gravity is off, we can change the gravity off. If gravity is not off, we apply gravity. Otherwise, we move. And we do the frame with it. Yeah, that much better like this. Too many branches, I think. So gravity off, we may enable gravity. If gravity is enabled, we apply gravity because we're not going to move. We're not going to jump forward. It's going to jump up or, or just fall like a rock, right? Um, if we didn't enable gravity, so the gravity is off. If, if it's time to move, we move. And we update the wall cycle. Fine. And independently of that, we do the with the collection. Check on it. Okay, it's not going to fall because we need to change this. This is not true anymore, is it? Well, okay, we can just test the gravity. It's working as expected by removing those checks. So it's not going to change the direction. No, that's not right. Because we don't want to get out of bounds on the screen. Uh, okay, so we're checking that um so the map is blocked is this bit the one that we don't want for now which is the one that is checking that is floor now by doing it like this there's a problem because we're going to fall in blocks in deadly blocks and it shouldn't do that But it's fine. So we know that that works. But we don't want that to happen. I mean, looks bad. And we shouldn't do that. So... So we're going to have a function here. Is the button deadly? Uh, sorry, what am I doing? <laughs> uh, no, we can just... No, we need to pass. Can we pass... Ah, we can pass entity, just the entity, it's fine. So... So, if map is deadly, and we can check the middle point. So this is the check we need to do. And it's going to be in a loop. Sixteen T Y equals E Y plus sixteen and then we're going to check a couple of things here. So if map is deadly Y is deadly, we finish. If map is blocked, then it's not deadly. 
otherwise we check eight so we move eight pixels so we check the next block so now what we're going to do if math is blocked or is button delete I mean, we can do e, e, x back 16 and yeah, it's slightly better doing it like this instead of why is no what I'm doing wrong. It should, it should match. Oh, because there is one here. Yeah, yeah, there you go. And it's the same. Uh, instead of 16, we're going to do 7. We set the middle point, right? Uh, no, it's actually the destination where we're moving, right? No, I'm not sure. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so that's why we want to pass this on like this. And then it's going to be instead of like this. Um, what is what we're passing here? So. Pin 16, 16 P, X, pin 16 P, Y. So, let's call it K. It's X, K. And all this is because we don't want it to fall to the So now, wow, 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 look at that. It's not what we wanted. Um, no, because we did already the addition in the other one, right? In the color. Actually, we don't need this. What I'm doing? I mean, it's been a long day and, and all that, but and it's actually. Kind of bad. Cool. So the guy is walking fine. Shouldn't be jumping. It's not jumping. It's not going to jump because he knows there are spiky blocks on the bottom. But if we put the guy here, for example. Have to jump because it's safe, right? So, for example, if we put it here, what is it going to do? Yeah, not there because it's there are spikes in the bottom. Let me see that again. I didn't like it. Yeah, it's dropping at the right. But it looks like this side is dropping to the No, it's perfect. It's on point. Cool. So the gravity is working. Now we need some 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 behavior right because let's make it look like he's smart um and for that in entities we have flags and we have 
count it there. So we're not using flux for anything here. So what I can think, what I think we can do is when we change direction, we can increase flags. Hmm? Uh, and then if plants bigger than two, for example, uh, how do we call that? <clears throat> Jump delay. Then we. What is it? No. It's going to be gravity up. Right, so that is our friend jumping equals to this friend jumping, yeah. And we jump, right? And we're going to set flat to zero for now. But I know already that that's not going to be correct. We're going to change it because I might because if, if we set to zero, um, okay, let's put the guy in a place where there is a chance of see him seeing him doing what we want. So basically, every time we change direction, is going to increment uh, the flags, and it's absolutely wrong, but. Let's look at to see what it does. So one, two, fine, but that's not correct. Uh, we need to check that we can actually jump, right? So the flux is correct, but we also need to check what the where we are going to land is no block, right? So that's the first thing. The first thing. So, and what, what do we check? I think we can check the middle point. So, uh, wait a minute. So it's going to be X minus minus nine, right? So yeah, because minus one is the block just on top of us, that it has to be solid. So the top of block of us has to be solid, but the the one on top it can be solid so that means that we can jump in there so it doesn't touch the the silly jump we just saw and because we do it when it turns it's not going to jump in any place, it's going to jump when it turns, like that. I mean, it also, we need to take into account the level design, because... 
I mean, it's not going to be super smart anyway. So jump delay is probably too low, too high, too... Yeah, it has to be too, I think. So this screen is not especially nice for... for this guy doing what he needs to do. Um... But anyway, it's doing what, what I was expecting. Uh, can it get stuck somehow? No, I think it's fine. It's just that we only see jumping on one side. Um, let's put it on... Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Let's put it here. So we see it jumping on the other side. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, we can make a jump. Yeah, but the nice thing of jumping when it turns is that it's going to be perfectly aligned in the right, in the right place. Okay, so let's make it a little bit more interesting. Let's include um, So I think the easiest way of making it interesting is doing run here Maybe what we can do is uh... no, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted to jump. You know, I wanted to jump twice, so in some cases, hmm, but no, because in this way we only jump when we when we turn, right? to put it here but I guess it's what I was trying to avoid right because I was trying to avoid that it's not the alignment is not correct anyway let's explore a little bit now that I have a lot of time but I think I think it's going to be all right so now potentially you can jump at any time so it means that if the trigger is on, it can jump in there, but it can jump in other places now. I wonder if it can happen that it can jump. Oh, that's cool. I like it. There you go. Is that okay though? Can that have problems? of some sort. I have no idea. Yeah, but it's not jumping twice. And that's something that I would like it to do. Because I don't want it to be restricted to... I mean, it should be possible for the enemy to keep going up. 
and it's not doing it right I mean it's random but at this point I'm surprised that it's not jumping twice so there's something wrong here right Ah, that's alive and now it comes there. Okay, fine. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of doing it, but it's not jumping twice. So now it's going to jump once. But it's not jumping again, right? Which is what I wanted. I mean, it's fine, but it's not great. Um, why is that? Because the flags only increase when you change direction, right? Could it be that? Um, another thing we can do is just set the flags when we hit the floor. I mean, it's okay, but it's not going up. And I want it to go up. It's not doing it. Um, well, in reality, we check in that. Okay, it's absolutely wrong. Because so when we to touch the ground, it's jump delay, but we're looking for jump bigger than jump delay. Oh, my mouse just run all the batteries. Put the cable quickly. Um, yeah, it's because it needs to be that's one at least. And now it has some chances of doing the double jump which is something that it didn't have before Come on, man. Jump twice. Well, it's slightly better now. I mean, at least we know that it can get up, but it's not doing the double jump, which is something I wanted to do. So the way it is right now, 
it's not bad. But it means that that enemy is going to end at the bottom of the screen. I mean, it all depends on the level design, right? But it looks like it's going to end in the bottom of the screen. If it doesn't have a chance of... But it should be jumping now again up there. And also, I will expect to do a double jump here. Like jump, jump. But it's not doing it. I mean, it's randomness as well. Um, well, it's not too bad. I mean, we can increase the chances, maybe. So this will make more possible to get double jumps. And um, another thing we can do is Mr. Bones can be more aggressive with that. Let's see. Yeah, but I think doing it on gravity when we touch the ground is the right move. See? Now it's going to have a chance of going up. Yeah, I think that's going to be about right. If there are no cases where the guy gets stuck trying to jump on something and he fails, although it's cute, but I think it's fine now. Let's see if it does another double jump and goes up. And also it's going to help the you know, getting the player on 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 their toes by, you know. Because you never know when the guy is going to start jumping, right? I mean you we know, right? We write in the code, but see, you know, I could be here. I could be here. And then the guy could be jump could jump twice or here, right? But he's not doing it, so but anytime he could be do a double jump and and grab you, although you are not expecting that. I think it's fine. Cool. So this enemy, I think, is going to be good. So. Okay. So I'll be back in a minute. And we can work on Mr. Bones. Right, so let's do Mr. Bonds. 
So let's copy, let's copy, let's copy, let's copy the snake again, I think. Because it really doesn't matter. Uh. Ooh. It really doesn't matter because we're going to use the the old miner. Anyway, so uh, you, I'm just going to delete everything, almost, almost everything. Um, yeah, and we need also old here because we're going to use the update function. And now I'm thinking that perhaps it was a bad idea to copy the snake because this. It's better if we use these. Because basically it's going to be the same. Uh, but instead of being 80, it's going to be 96. But it's the same frames, the same animation. Same animation. So we change this. And that should be all, really. Now, bones update. Can just delete this, and we can do all update. And that's it. Yeah, we need to have nice composition. Now, the only thing we need to do is add some extra behavior after the behavior of the other one, so on top of that. Let's add the new enemy. Here, let's add, change one of these. This one can be bones. And this old one, let's move it here because the way it's going to be too annoying. If I didn't leave anything, we should have Mr. Bones on the action. But it's just the same behavior as the other guy. There you go, I like us. Triple jump! Hey, hey. Good, good, good. Okay, she's going to be super quick. Mr. Bones is going to be super quick. Wait a minute. Uh, did I do the same again? Yes, I did. So, oh man, I did the same, I did the same, anyway, let's get rid of this.
I did exactly the same as the last time. Okay, so this is bones now. I see that I didn't break anything. And yeah, when we have the sound, the music is going to change quite a lot. Yeah, but it's, it's kind of, it's going to be, I mean, it's a simple game, it's not too complicated. Bats are actually very very simple as well. So yeah, the burn I the bats are simple. I don't like them too much because it kind of forces you to do some specific type of level design. So they actually are fun to play, but anyway, okay. So um, we need to see what is they all doing because we need to check what is the state of things here in order to do things here, right? Uh, for example, what we can do is we could be I'm thinking I'm thinking what can we do something easy for example um, if player X is bigger than X and we could be facing the enemy. Uh, right, okay, so this could be Is the other way around? Right? So, yeah, okay, it's correct. We could do this only if player Y minus EY. Here we have ABS standardly. There you go. And sorry. So basically, we want to know that we are in the same floor. So, if the difference between these two is less than 8, so we avoid the player, for example, jumping to avoid the skeleton. Seeing it? See? It changes direction and it goes after the player. say it really it doesn't work we are in a different level and it doesn't require the player to be standing it can be jumping for example and that's it I think yeah 
Yeah, it got me. <laughs> it changed direction and it fell down. Because although I was not in the same level, I was falling. So yeah, that's fine. So this is a tracker enemy. As simple as that. Didn't even call. Didn't review the call to the one. Um. Yeah. I mean, this is a simple and effective. So. That's going to be all for today, I think. Um, so I started early and finishing early, um, but this is what I was planning to do. Actually, you could have updated that one, right? But that's it, really. Um, so, yeah, next day. Definitely support for multiple maps and the pickups, which is the two things that are missing, really. Um, and the rest is just... Um, I need to do the music. <laughs> Not the streaming, because it's going to be a pain in the ass to watch me until I get something that sounds the way I want. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, it's level design, really. I might draw some extra tiles. And really I don't I can't think of anything else. Let me see. I mean that would be enough. It would be sufficient for a game. And it can be even fun. Cool! Well that's all for today, as I said. Um See you next time. Probably Tuesday I might squeeze another session in between, depending, because again I need to do the music, I need to do the level design, I need to do graphics, and the pieces that are left of coding is not a lot, and we have 10 days, so yeah, that changes that it could be finished. Anyway, see you next time. Bye bye.